Yes now, bless now. Don't forget the rest now. There's King of the Pit TV signing in live and large once again. Click subscribe because I upload every single day. Come on. Now, what we're listening to for the very first time in my entire life, I've never listened to a monomath before, but we're listening to the entire Twilight of the Thunder God record from start to finish, okay? I'm hoping to hear some ridiculous metal, okay? And without further ado, let's just jump straight into it, people. If you want to check my music out, search Des Rock Steady. Let's go. Ooh, may I just say this is entitled Twilight of the Thunder God. First record. Let's go. I didn't expect that vocal. I thought the vocal would not be clean, but a little more... A little more of a shout, but this is like a bit of a death metal growl. I didn't expect that. There's an ambience to this record. And it matches the artwork. It's like a shrouded, mysterious storm of a production. The lower register guitars just droning on at an incredible pace. I know it's a bit paradoxical, but you know what I mean. Whereas these, you know, mid-register dum, 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 is like a glisten of the lightning in the distance. As the vocal tremors just, you know, create this. Revision. Of what I initially thought this band would sound like. That's like a crossover riff. This band's giving me a bit of Slayer. A bit of Slayer. And overall, this death metal sound, which is just twisted into the theme of I'm on a Mouth. It isn't death metal, but it is to me at the same time. This riff is a crossover riff though. This this is a hard riff.
were going into a solo, but them, them natural harmonics, they were some of the best natural harmonics I've ever heard. How tight were they? Ooh. <laughs> Wowzers, that was Twilight of the Thunder God. I want to get stuck into the next record. The tremolo picking malarkey was good, but I really like that. That, that, that riff in particular, I want to hear more of that. So next we've got Guardians of Asgard. Let's get into it, people. My downtime is epic. I thought I said Porn Stars Casino in, for a second. That's my sort of casino, come on. Right. There's that King of the Pit TV signing in live and large. Yo, we're listening to Amon Amaf. This is the first time I've ever heard this band. I only just heard the first track of this record. Now we're on to the second. This one's called Guardians of Asgard. i got a question for you, right? I messaged my mate whilst listening to that first tune. I said, this is more death metal than I expected. And he said, yeah, it's mellow death. Do you reckon this is melodic death metal? Let me know down below. Uh, please do, because... We're experimenting and exploring a whole lot of different niche metal. I don't normally listen to this sort of stuff, so I don't know how to categorize this as efficiently as maybe I should do. So let me know what genre of music this is. Uh, and let's go. Guardians of Asgard. This band tells a story with their melodies and their riffs, really. Oh. 
I'm surprised I've not heard a blast beat so far of all this tremolo picking. sounds a little bit, correct me if I'm wrong, I might be thinking of the another band. It sounds a bit like a kill switching gauge uh, guitar solo. Am I wrong? I'm not thinking of Bullet for My Valentine, are I? But it's kill switching gauge. Cool, Guardians of Asgard. It wasn't as good as Twilight of the Thunder God, I'll tell you that, it wasn't. The guitar solo was tasty and I liked the harmonised uh, tremolo picking section. That was pretty cool. Let's move on to the next tune. The next one is entitled Tattered Banners and Bloody Flags. We've got a little bit of war metal coming up, possibly. Let's get into it. Voxy, the mobile network that gives you endless social media and video. Yes now, bless now. There's King of the Pit TV signing in. We got Amon Amath, Tattered Banners and Bloody Flags is the name of the track. We're listening to Twilight of the Thunder God. This has been our very first time listening to this band. It's been an experience so far. Bit of a bit of a broad spectrum, I would say, uh, as far as my interests go. Okay. They've not sold it to me at this point, but I'm looking forward to hearing some great riffs because I know there's some buried in here, all right? So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Click subscribe because you know I upload every day. Let's go. Ooh. That riff is ridiculous. I've never heard a riff like that before. That's a quality riff. Yeah, I'm a guitarist. I'm, I'm trying to think how simple, well, not simple, how, how how easy it would be to play that sort of stuff. I think it'd be, I think it's deceivingly tough to, to play that tight with the tremolo pick and then palm mute that chug. That's a nice riff. Tight. So the band can play fast, we've heard some fast drums and we've heard some uh, fast tremolo picking but we don't hear them both 
cooperating on that fast tempo, either the guitar's going relatively slow whilst the drums are really flying, or we've got the blazing fast tremolo pick sections with like a more driving straightforward drum. We've not heard any sort of thrash metal-esque headbangers at this point. It's all been like really heavy. It's been a heavy record so far. The uh, cooperation of the instrumental has been quite heavy. There's a great cooperation between the guitarists on this, the rhythm and the lead. There's always a nice melody every once in a while and the rhythm guitarist keeps it proper tight. What's that? It's almost as if we had a horn in the background there. What instrument was that? I think it's keys, right? But it's... The voicing is that of a horn. Heavy tune, heavy tune. Do you know what tuning this band is in? I would say what? Is that C sharp standard or something? I don't think it's a drop tuning, is it? But potentially it is. What tuning is that band in? Right, let's move on to the next one. We've got Free Will Sacrifice next, people. Okay. I'm getting some work done. Enough of that. I'm chilling out. With yes, now bless now. Don't forget the rest now. Des King of the Pit TV. Let's keep it moving. We're listening to Armin Omar's full record, Twilight of the Thunder God, from start to finish. This one's entitled Free Will Sacrifice. Click subscribe because I upload every day. One love. Ooh.
Dude, this is a sick riff. This is like the least viewed so far out of all of the tunes. This has been my most played song. I love the energy to this, and it's just a toe tapper. That is a riff, man. Come on. I'd be moshing. It's almost as if I can hear a vi uh, I was gonna say a Viking vocal line below. Can you not hear that vocal? I like them highs. This has to be a favourite for the guitarists to learn how to play. What a great riff. Key change. My favourite tune so far off the record, that was Free Will Sacrifice. I really like that riff. That was a quality riff, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, so let's move on to the rest, shall we, people? Yes, now, bless now. Check, check, one, two. Just back from the shower, so don't mind the sogginess, people. We're tucking back in to the Twilight of the Thunder God record. Amen and Marth, this is our first time ever listening to the band. We've just started today. Without further ado, we're going to sign in and get this started, people. Let's go. Wow, already. When them stabs come in and the whole instrumental comes in, it just blows you away, that big wall of sound. That's a riff, though. Come on.
Dude, this is the first time I've seen the band. Are they all blonde? That's a badass look, isn't it? Proper Viking metal. That's hard. That That's a great look. So this is melodic death metal, right? Essentially. But this riff sounds quite metal core -y. Sort of like uh, two f early, early to mid 2000s metal core. That's hard, the drummer's just driving that riff in. Let's go about that, I like that. Nice and simple E chug. They're a cool looking band, I think. They're a mature metal band. You know what I mean? Sometimes they just look like little greebos, but these dudes look like the real deal, don't they? They look like proper metalhead musicians, mate. Yeah, quality. <laughs> Gorgeous sound there. What's that? Is that a violin? Cool. I really like the riff, just a straightforward E chug with the driving. It's more so like a little um, little bridging section in between the sections, but I did like that one. I like the main riff as well, but I wish it would have continued on the. But then it goes into like the borderline dissonant. But you know, it sounds it comes in like a video game riff, and I like that. Radical dude. So let's continue moving on. We've got Embrace the Endless Ocean next. Quite a long one, 6 minutes 45, so we're in for a ride, people. Let's get on to it. Your 
all here right now because he wants the same thing. He's to the start of a happily ever after. I might go on that. Right. Wow, 1.5 million views on this one. This must be a good tune. So, there's King of the Pit TV signing in. Embrace the Endless Ocean. This is our first time listening to A Man of Arth. We've been listening to the entire record Twilight of the Thunder God. It's been a journey. There's been plenty of riffs. I'm still waiting to be sold, though. So, maybe this is the track that sells me the band. Let's go. Sounds like uh, As I Lay Dying. You ever heard of that band? Almost hypnotic a rhythm. It's quite an emotional melody and vocal line, as far as metal goes. I think I might burst out into tears, people. The toms sound really good on this record, I think. Did he say, I've missed the breeze of my own shores? Maybe not, possibly not, but if that was the lyric, that would be nice. And if it wasn't, I've just come up with a great lyric. That double kick is crazy.
of very powerful melodies riffing and lead playing in this tune alongside the lyric this is a this is a moving song for for metal now, i'm sorry to keep referring back to that but relatively speaking you know what i mean M metal sounds distorted guitars and like growled guttural vocals don't tend to you know portray such emotive value as this song does <laughs> drummer has just been grooving throughout the whole tune just consistently pushing through <laughs> That was brilliant. That was brilliant. That was a nice change of pace. That a look at that, you have silence to break up the end of that track before the next tune comes in, so you have a moment to ponder. That was really good. Embrace the endless ocean. There's something about the ocean which inspires awe, and um, they definitely portrayed it in this metal tune. This is really good, really good. That was a fantastic tune. That might be my favourite off the record so far. Um, not necessarily for the riffs or for the instrumental as a whole, but just generally the atmosphere they created in that tune I thought was really good. Yes, now, bless now, do not forget the rest now. Des, King of the Pit TV, signing in live and large. We're continuing on with our listening to the Twilight of the Thunder God. This one is entitled Variags of Miklagard, or something along the lines of that. Let's jump straight into it, people. One love. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, the uh, Tom B and that initial guitar that came in sounded like a, a bit of tool, what we've been listening to. Before the harmony came in. Oh! 
heavy storytelling verse just come on This band, um, or this record, should I say, definitely revolves around a particular atmosphere, and the production really highlights that. It's a bit of a storytelling record, isn't it? Based around the lyrical and the uh, imagery of the act. The riff assists in telling the story, adds a little bit of uh, colour to what we're hearing. All right, and obviously with the growls and the borderline gutturals, it's quite hard to decipher what is being said, but you know a story is being told of epic proportions. I love that melody. I like how they ear on the edge of just being a proper, direct, traditional death metal band, but they don't. They add their own sort of melodic input and create this world of Aim and Amarth as opposed to just your bog standard tremolo picked riffs and you know, growls, they definitely add a little twist onto things which creates their own sound and it's really cool. Um, obviously that's down into the theoretics, the musical theory, which I can't talk on because I don't know much music theory in all fairness. What do you prefer, the high vocals or the low vocals? I can't make my mind up which one I prefer. Return back home. I thought we were going to end on an epic big chord there, a perfect cadence. But no, it might have been a bit too dramatic to have on the record, but I would have done it personally. 
So let's move on to the next tune entitled Where Is Your God? Okay. He's swimming in the snow, mate. Tesco.com. I got plenty of shares in Tesco at the moment, making me a couple of quid. I want to give a shout out. Obviously, that's where we can buy cores. I had a mate who was proper into Cause Light. I don't think it's too popular over here in England, is it? It's an American thing. There's King of the Pit TV signing in. This one's entitled Where Is Your God? We're listening to Twilight of the Thunder God from start to finish. You know what to do. Just click subscribe because I upload every day. Let's go. Sounded like a bass drop then. I don't think it was, but. It might have been. Does anybody know where this lyric comes from? Where is your God? Where is your God? Where is your God? Where does that come from? fingers going on in this riff it's like um, a little bit like a slowed down variation of the raining blood sort of frantic thrash riff near the start It's like the guitar, the um, harmonising rhythm guitar swells the top of it, production wise, if you listen to it, it's like it swells in. Like a really slow phaser. Some fantastic guitar layering going on right now. Ooh. Alright, that was tasty. It was a little bit deaf chorey to be honest. That verse riff. Or the chorus riff, should I say. A little bit deaf chorey to me. No offence intended. Yeah. I know people take offence to that, but it is what it is. Next tune we've got is No Fear for the Setting Sun. Let's get straight into it. Oh. 
Let's get straight into it in five seconds time. No surprises. There's King of the Pit TV signing in. We're listening to Amon and Mav's whole record Twilight of the Thunder God. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. That high register bass guitar that's just coming, that's tasty. Drummer's going crazy on this tune. This band loves tremolo picking. A lot of great tremolo picking riffs and a lot of pedal note, like metal chorey riffs. Dun 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 dun. You know the ones. guitars create this incredible big stone wall of power in this tune uh, on the record in particular but at this tune that tremolo picking especially when that solo rang the solo was just there central just whittling about but you had this crazy wall of rhythm guitar <laughs> Quality, no fear for the setting sun, everyone. That was a good tune. I like that one. I thought that was a good one. Yeah, that was that that was in the top 
top tunes on this record. So let's finish it off. We've got the hero to final finalize. Um, oh, listen to this tough record. On wasting energy, gentle. So yeah, it's been an experience. It's been a good one. I've never heard this band before. I used to buy Metal Hammer magazine, and uh, this band used to frequent it quite regularly. All right. There's King of the Pit TV signing in. We're finishing off the Twilight of the Thunder God record. This one's entitled The Hero, of course. This is the first time I've heard any of these tunes. And it's been a good one. All right, so let's get straight into it. The Hero. We're going to go crunk core, come on. Some storytelling going on. My soul to anyone willing to pay the price. No regrets for what I've done. A mercenary's life. Quite black metal that that riff there before it went into that lower frequency. This bit. broken side bit Ooh. crushingly heavy that just it's just to say uh, uh, just a plain simple power chord but it sounds crushingly heavy when it all comes in just boom the distortion just coats the track like a blanket really nice guitar tone I know who I am. I am an evil man. Who's the hero then? This is the hero. What's going on? I don't know if it's a good lyric or a bad one. You tell me.
Cool. That was Eminem Half, Twilight of the Thunder God. Right, I want to give a shout out to all of the fans of this band. Um, I'm going to let you know, you know, we keep it honest here. This band wasn't for me. Uh, the tempo was a little bit not slow enough and it wasn't fast enough for me. I would have liked to have heard them riffs a little faster. All right. As you know, if you've watched any of my videos before regarding like metal music, I'm not a very traditional death metal fan as well. I don't like growls and death metal sort of vocals, not at least the traditional aspect. I like brutal vocals, like I did like the, the guttural aspect of the lows, but overall it was very death metal to me, and um, it just, just doesn't tickle my pickle, that sort of stuff. There were some good riffs in here, um, and some brilliant atmosphere. I think the atmosphere was sort of the, the highlight of this band, uh, or at least this record. But... If there's better tunes for me to listen to, if there's better record for me to listen to, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out in due time, given that people care about uh, this band and it, you know, garners a couple of views at least. So I'm going to sign out. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Until next time, one love, people.